I'm going to show you how to slow down or speed up your video or audio clips in Camtasia and in addition to the basics you'll discover the ins and outs of using clip speed through four additional examples I share so that you can take your production quality to the next level and the lessons here can be applied to most video editing programs. Hey it's Gord here Welcome! If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's dive in! Okay, so let's now look at the mechanics for adding clip speed to your video clips. And bear in mind that whenever you add clip speed to a video clip, it's also going to affect the audio track. So if you speed up your clip uh, and there's voice narration, it's going to sound maybe munchkin-like and maybe not be discernible. So you got to factor that into whatever you're doing when you have a voice clip. Okay, the simplest and easiest way is to first select the clip. And as you can see, as soon as I selected this particular clip, the yellow frame showed that we have context. And if you do the right mouse button, add clip speed is an option here. So I click on that and you now see this bottom bar, this effects bar that was added. And when I clicked on it, it turned gold. And in the top right corner now you can see there's properties. And for the properties we have the speed and the duration with minutes, seconds, and frames. The speed is at 1.0. Now if I were to, I can key in manually anything on top of any of these numbers. So if I'm going to change the speed here from 1.0 to 2.0 look at the line on the bottom you're gonna see that it went into half size so that's an example I doubled the speed so the clip is actually half the size and likewise if I decided to shrink the speed or slow down to a half I get a much larger expanded size for the clip another method for adding clip speed is actually going to the visual effects tool and clicking on the clip speed uh, visual effect and then dragging it down on top and as you can see the green frame surfaced from the blue so change from blue to green and let go and now you're gonna see here there's the blue bar okay the last method is to click on the video clip to give it context and then click on modify add effect and we're dealing with visual effects and there's clip speed select that option and down below the effect has been added. You see there's the blue bar again. Now another thing that you can do with the clip speed is actually control the shortening or lengthening of your clip through uh, by moving your cursor over to the right or to the left end of the clip and actually you know pressing the mouse down and then dragging to the right or to the left and as you can see you have a little white box there that shows that the clip speed is changing so as I go more to the right the clip speed goes to a factor that's less than one which means we're actually stretching it out ie slowing down the clip if I go to the left as we cross the one threshold it now comes to a number greater than one which means we're speeding up the clip and hence the clip, uh, clip um, length is getting smaller so again I can do that on either side and I just go to the other side but now when I go this way you can see that the start time is changing as well as another dimension to the information with the particular video clip I'm working on it is actually a clip of an unboxing and I only have the uh, introductory piece here where I say hello kind of thing but I'm talking about clip speed for the purpose of this demonstration and what I want to actually do is allow some talking at the beginning but then as soon as I get into the effort right here to start to cut into the box I want that actually starting there to start to play in fast motion and then when I'm finished you know taking everything out of the box I have a little I have a few words to say so I'm gonna you know like you know go back to normal speed there so the goal is to cut a section out of the middle here and increase the speed for it to run quickly so let me set that up okay so I want to take the clip in the middle the centered piece and cut the time in half and first see how that looks so I'm going to change this to a 2 and you're going to see this clip size shrink in half and let's just see how that plays just for a look. so as you can hear there's the munchkin voice which I'm not going to want so I will actually separate the audio and then sort of mute it or eliminate the audio and what I'm going to do finally but I see the speed and I actually want it to be a little faster so I'm going to aim 
for four times normal speed here. I do it a four and it shrinks the clip again. And let me just see how that is. But before I go there, I'm going to separate the audio from the video and uh, move this up a touch. Click on there and put the volume down low and just see how this looks here. Okay, so this is good. This is going through the opening much more quickly. I just wanted it to go quickly, so I, I like that. So let's pull all the pieces together and just hear how this sounds uh, as, an, as a flow in and then an exit. Okay. You're going to see I'll speed up the clip for that part, so here we go. Okay, one item is the Rode Video Micro and the adapter. The okay, so as you can see, now the whole unboxing piece is cut down to a quarter of the time because I increased the speed to be fourfold the original. And this is an example that when it renders, it'll all be nice and smooth. And if I want, I can put a narration piece over where I'm actually doing the unboxing and then the normal speed for the talk at the end here. I most often use the fast motion special effect to speed up boring or less interesting video clips. For example, when you show someone logging in, doing data form entry, or you want to show a process or workflow, you don't really need to have the user watch in real time to show the full details and time lapse. Instead, you want to speed up the process with an accompanying narrative track. This narrative track is usually run in parallel to the speed adjusted clips, thereby creating a quicker, more effective and engaging visual experience. Although in this last clip, all the adjustments that you see visible here are primarily based on clip speed, there was actually a lot more work done to come up with sewing those clips together. So here I are, have the three clips, the four clips shown spread across. Now if you look at the actual clip speed, you'll see here that this one is th over three times. So if I actually were to remove the clip speed here, you'd see the track was much longer. Not only that, it's possible that the track may not have may have been trimmed or extended. So as you can see, this track was actually trimmed. All right. Likewise, in the next clip, we see we had a speed of 1.03. It was just a little over, but again, this clip was trimmed. So there's a lot more that goes into just adjusting clip speed, which we're focused on here. It's very possible that you're truncating the clips or extending or shortening the clip in principle before you even get to applying the clip speed. So I'm just sharing with you that there are other dimensions in addition to the clip speed that I'm demonstrating. In this next example, I use clip speed to actually adjust uh, an image that's already got a behavior applied, the pulsation effect, so that when you see here there's an in, a during, and an out behavior that there's already parameters set to um, you know, make the motion. But what I've done is, in addition to tune it to the music, to, which is this track down below, I actually enhance the clip speed to be at 1 to 8. So watch and see how this comes out. So you see how the picture uh, moves in pulsation with the music. But now if I were to change the clip speed back down from 1.28 to 1.0, you're going to see that it looks way off. Check this out. So now if I put it to even a little higher than I had it before, I'm going to go up to 1.32 for the faces picture to um, pulsate a little faster. Now check it out. I think this works even a little better. In this next example, I'm actually going to show you how I used a clip speed of 0.4, which is I actually created a slow motion effect. And the reason why I needed to do that was because in this tutorial, as you can see, there's a lot of movement, there's selection of various things, there's menu items, and then there's another menu item, and it's selected. And on the bottom here is a narration track. So this was a scripted video, and that narration track was originally created. So I had to make my visual, which I created after, all sync in. So I ended up using a clip speed of 0.4 and I also had to do starting here we see the stitch spot was an actual extended extended frame for a bit while I kept the um, menu piece up there till I was able to put a square around it and then continue in sync with the audio. So let's just quickly see how a bit of this sounds copied from one clip to another. This is done by highlighting the behavior effect in the list shown in the clip on the timeline 
and then selecting the right mouse button, Copy Selected Effects option. You can also select multiple effects at once to copy. To paste the effect, just go to another clip and once you have context for the clip, select the right mouse button option to paste. One additional point I'd like to make that's very important for people to appreciate is that the conventional slow motion or time-lapse high-speed photography that you see is a different concept than what we were looking at today with slow and fast motion. Those other forms of speed are related to doing in-camera setup to do you know very slow motion or very fast motion that depends on lighting, frame rates, and all kinds of other parameters. So just to be clear, this is a different kind of slow and fast motion and it's great for editing what we're using and the other stuff is predominantly set and managed in camera in contrast. Wow! Using clip speed as a tool to help you tune your videos is a great asset as it can help you to produce a more engaging product to watch. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe icon on this page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.